Tell you what happened a few months back. I was driving home from town, going up the big hill at the bottom of the road, and suddenly the engine lost power and seized up. And that was a bad day. So now the bus has a brand new Cummins diesel 5.9. Well, let's take a look. So the mission for today is to put some miles on the brand new engine and uh, it just so happens that my good friend Lee and his wife Shelly have a place over at the Oregon coast. So Lee and I are going to do a man trip to the Oregon coast. So let's go check out Lee and Shelly's house. It's just next door but it's a little bit of a hike. Well there's Lee and Shelly's house. And uh, here's, here's a remnant from the past. We've all, a uh, bunch of us have lived on this mountain for around 40 years. And way, way back when, we all had outhouses before we had plumbing. <laughs> now we're all middle class, I suppose. Plumbing, electricity, and internet, middle class. Well, let's go see if he's awake yet. He's supposed to make me something to eat. Hey, this is my friend Lee. Hey, John. I've known Lee ever since I was a teenager, which must have been, what, at least five, six years ago? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we're off to the coast. So, it's off to Langlois, Oregon. Langlois, 
Boys is a small town in Curry County, Oregon, with a population of about 177 people. There's a library, a post office, and a little store that closes early, so if you want to get some beer, you better get it before heading out to Langlois, as we found out the hard way. Uh, just 15 miles or so th south of Langlois is Port Orford, with about 1,100 people. There is a really nice uh, beach at Port Orford, and we were lucky enough to have really nice weather the entire time. This is one of those rare times when it's sunny at the Oregon coast. Really nice out today. A little windy. And on the other side, about 18 miles north of Langlois, is the booming metropolis of Bandon, with a population of about 3,000. You know you're near the ocean when you start seeing signs for seafood espresso. So here's a little spreadsheet I did um, just to kind of calculate the mileage. Look at this. This is kind of interesting. The very first time I got fuel, I'd gone uh, 162 miles. It was 16.2 gallons. So that one was easy um, to do. And then similarly, this one, uh, a little better than 10 miles to the gallon. But now look down here. So this is coming back through the... Uh, this last leg was going through pretty steep mountains, um, you know, where the bus is over in the shoulder with the blinkers on going about 25 or 30 miles an hour. And look at that big difference. Half is good mileage, 5.3 miles to the gallon going through the mountains. Man. So, um, anyway, it gives you an idea. I know some buses maybe get better than that, but... I think an average of 10 miles to the gallon is probably not too bad for considering the size that thing is. Um, you know, this was partially gone. All of this was a little bit mountainy. So going through Kansas, you know, it'd probably get 11 or 12 miles to the gallon. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it uh, for this week. I think probably next week I may be going to be doing the, um, the backup lights that came in a couple of weeks ago. And I've been kind of working on that. And uh, if I can get that together in time, we'll do that. So we'll have to see. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.